Ooh. Happy Wednesday. Shh. Little, little, little bear already fell asleep. So we have to be real quiet when I read this book. I'm going to read the book. We, we got to get... Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> little bear is not asleep. He is awake. Yay! Well, I hope little bit little man had a good day. It was nice and sunny outside today, wasn't it? It was. Hmm. Nice to see you. I thought you were asleep for the night. I guess not. Okay. I'm going to turn his chair over. There it is. Let's move his chair over a little bit. All right. Well, happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday! Yay! Happy Wednesday! So, guess what? We had some friends at the library today. Who were they? It was Maddie. It was Carmen. It was Elena. And it was Evan. And they came, along with some other people. Oh, yeah. Melody came over. Mmm. Hi, Melody. Hi, Sarah. Hi, everybody. So, there we are. So, we had some great people today. And they came to the library and they looked for mm -hmm, book bugs. Book bugs. Now you think you're thinking little bugs. No, no, no. These are cute little bugs that Miss Julie, little drawings, little graphics, that she put 10 of them around the children's section. If you come to the library and you find every one of those in order, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, you get to go to the Charlestown Library treasure chest and find something cool in there. I've done it. Took me a while. Mm. Here's the hint. To find number 10, you have to find Miss Elsie the Giraffe and ask for her help. She won't talk to you, but she knows where number 10 is. Get it? Okay. Well, today was great, wasn't it? Sun was out. Hmm. Little bear, did you have sunscreen on? You don't need sunscreen to get all stuck in your fur. Blah. So, it's 29 days, I think. 29, 28 days till spring. Oh, boy. It's been a long time coming, hasn't it? I know some of you who like snow. And some of you like ice. So, too bad. Spring's coming. Flowers are coming. It's going to be great. It's going to be wonderful. So, I know why you're here. You want to hear a story, don't you? You want to hear a story. I know Little Bear does. So, this is a perfect story. Miss Julie found this book for me. Oh, hi Miss Julie. Hi Smiths. How are you there? Let's see. Nobody said hello yet. They're out there. I see the numbers. Okay, so here's the book. The World Champion of Staying Awake. Ooh. I always thought I was the world champion of staying awake. Because I like to read at night. Right? Don't you? Don't you like to read at night? I know Little Bear likes to read. Little Bear, do you want to read this one tonight? <laughs> he does, but he doesn't like to read out loud. Because he's very shy. Mm-mm-mm. So this is it. Sean Taylor and Jimmy Liao, they did this book. I'm sorry I put it in front of your face, little bear. So here's, look at this book. You've got a little girl. you got a, a mouse, a piggy, and a frog. All right. I wonder who will be the world champion of staying awake. Let's try it out. Oh, look at this book. Look at the drawings in there. They're just very cool, very big. So let's see. <clears throat> there they are reading. There they are. They're sitting in the big blue chair reading. Good night, Stella, says Dad. Time to go to bed. But how can Stella go to bed? She still has Cherry Pig, Thunderbolt the Puppet Mouse, and Beanbag Frog to get to sleep. Whoo! She's got a lot of work before she can go to sleep. Look at her. Think she's ready to go to bed? I don't think so. Oh, did you see it, little bear? Here, see? Isn't that nice? Well, oh. all right. I'm 
Oh, this is Cherry Pig. You see Cherry Pig? There she is. I'm a bit wide awake, snuffles Cherry Pig. I'm a lot wide awake, calls out Thunderbolt. And Beanbag Frog is worse than wide awake. He's going hoppity hop. Look at him. He's jumping. He's hopping around. Oh, this is not going to be easy getting me straight to bed, is it? No, it's not. It's not easy turning this page either. Stop it, he stops, says Stella. It's time to go to bed. I'm not going to sleep, calls out Thunderbolt, the mouse. Sleep is too slow, croaks Beanbag Frog. I'm the world champion of staying awake, says Cherry Pig. Look at Cherry Pig up there. Holy moly. These guys are going to be trouble. Well, but Stella is good at thinking up ways to get them to sleep. So she puts them on her pillow. Can you dream the pillow into something, asked Cherry Pig. Yes, says Stella. It's a ship. And it is. Look at her. She's got him up on the pillow and she's pretending it's a ship. It's floating around. Look at that. Little bear's floating around too. The pillow ship rocks. The pillow ship sways. The pillow ship sails across the waves. In the deep water under the boat, jellyfish sharks and seahorses float. Little bear don't get seasick. Ooh, wow, they're floating on that boat. But down in the cabin, you'll come to no harm. You'll be warm as a cat sleeping inside a barn. So snuggle your feet, snuggle your knees, and let yourself sway over the seas. Ooh, I'm getting tired even just watching these little guys. Oh, they're laying on the... Quietly, Stella checks. Cherry Pig is asleep. But Beanbag Frog asks, Is jelly made from jellyfish? Oh. And Thunderbolt is calling out, The world champion of staying awake is actually me. Oh, Thunderbolt is going to be a... Uh, a little trouble. How am I ever going to get you two to sleep? Stella says with a sigh. <sighs> with presents, toys, fireworks, and spicy sausage pizza, suggests Thunderbolt. Oof, really? It's not time for anything like that, Stella said, tells them. It's time to shut your eyes. I've shut my eyes, but my feet are completely woken up says Beanbag Frog in a very bouncy voice. Look at him. He's bouncing all over that bed. Yeah. Little Bear, you're bouncing. You were asleep before, and now you're bouncy. Oh my goodness. So Stella puts them in her shoe box. Can you dream this box into something, asks Thunderbolt. Yes, says Stella. It's a train. <laughs> and it is. Look at the train. She's dreaming it's a train. How wonderful. Little Bear, have you ever been on a train? Oh, was it fun? Good. Glad to hear it. Well, outside the air is cold with rain, but it's warm and dry on the midnight train. The silver wheels spin around on the track on their way over the mountains and back. And as it chugs and clatters and steams, the train will carry you into your dreams. Look at them. The mouse and the frog are watching out the window. Oh, look at the horses. <gasps> mm -mm -mm. Dreams of long journeys and dinosaur eggs. Dreams of white horses with galloping legs. <laughs> That's them running. That's what that noise was. Who's the world champion of staying awake now, whispers Stella. Thunderbolt lifts his head and says, I'm the world champion.
Beanbag Frog. Is he asleep? Can you see Beanbag Frog? He's peeking over the bed. Ooh. Mr. Frog. No, he's not. He's going hoppity hop again. How many years is it to my birthday? He asked Stella. Oh, Mr. Frog is a... He's trouble. I can't believe you're still awake, she whispers. I can, says his croaky voice. The world champion of staying awake must actually be me. Look at him. Oh, Mr. Croaky Frog. So Stella puts him in the toy basket. Can you dream our basket into something, asked Beanbag Frog. Yes, says Stella. It's a balloon. And it is. They're floating away. They're just floating. The starship balloon flies off and away, leaving behind the last of today. Through air as quiet as fallen snow, up and up and up you go. There they go. They're floating away on the balloon. Are you floating away, little bear? You're a good floater. Up so high that it's best to stop if you feel like going. Hoppity hop. And what's around you as you rise? The sparkling necklaces of the skies. What are the sparkling necklaces? Are they the stars? Are they the stars, little bear? They are the stars. Stella checks. Beanbag Frog is lying with his head on one arm. Not a croak. Not a bounce. Not a hippity hop. Look at him. He's asleep. They're all fast asleep, she whispered. Oh, she must be so tired. So the world champion of staying awake must actually be Stella. <laughs> Or maybe none. She's gone to sleep too. There she is with her little piggy, her little mousy, and her little froggy all gone to bed. Oh, what a story. What a good story. You can get this story. You can come to the Charlestown Library and get this story too. And you can read it at home. Well, little bear, are you tired? Are you yawning? Oh, he's so sleepy. Look at that. Well, I tell you what. Why don't you put your head down and count to a hundred and we'll see if you fall asleep. And you too. You at home. Cuddle up. Put your head on your pillow. Wrap up in your favorite little blanket and dream about tomorrow. So be happy, be healthy, and be good. And come visit us at the Charlestown Library, okay? Good night, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Let's take one more check to see. There we go. All right. You have a very good night and have lots of good sleep. Good night. <laughs>